There's no better feeling than peeling the plastic and opening the new vinyl record you bought from the record shop after browsing the crates for hours. The satisfaction of opening the gatefold, chucking the record on the turntable, looking at the cover art, reading the lyrics off the vinyl sleeve, and putting the poster on your wall. It's such an experience relaxing, sitting back, and turning the record over once the site is finished. You can't tell me that streaming music is as enjoyable as the vinyl experience. What we'll be talking about today in our video is why buying vinyl records is better than listening to music online. Cue the intro. Real music lovers tend to gravitate towards vinyl as it becomes a hobby, passion and pastime as you can collect all your favourite artists' albums. Record collecting is a lifestyle, not a phase. It's not a phase, mom. It's a lifestyle. As you will be collecting for your whole life and it becomes a passion, adds value, satisfaction and interest to your life. Record, record collecting becomes a social activity as well. Boom as you make new friends while you're browsing the store and, or with people who have similar interests to you. Artists are choosing to produce oh, bruh. Artists are choosing to produce more vinyl records so they can sell their music physically and make money. Like in years gone by with CDs, cassettes and vinyls. Wow. Bruh. Look at the scenery guys. With streaming People are choosing not to listen to the full album and only choosing to listen to specific songs. Listening to vinyl records is more about the band's pro progression as a conceptual art form of the record, whereas with the popularity of streaming services, the listener is craving singles to listen to, which takes away from the cr creativity of the artist slash band. By buying vinyl records, you are supporting the creativity and integrity of the band slash artists you listen to. Don't get me wrong, streaming has its benefits, like if you want to play different songs from different artists all at once, or to make a playlist. I think streaming is more for the casual listener, as it is convenient. While listening to music for free is great, there comes a cost as the listener is being interrupted by advertisements every other song. If you want to listen to your favourite artists slash songs, Without being interrupted, you have to pay. Like for example, Spotify Premium costs eleven ninety nine per month, which is as expensive and an ongoing cost, guys. Um, on the other hand, vinyl tends to be more expensive. Follow me this way, ranging from sealed vinyls that are forty plus dollars, or second hand, which are ten plus dollars, but they can actually fetch up. It's a lot of money. Although streaming beats out vinyl in every time in the money race, vinyl is for that listening musical experience and nostalgia. Secondhand records are a market in themselves. You can make money by buying and selling. Some secondhand records can be collector's items and can fetch up to hundreds or if not thousands of dollars. Some records can be scarce and can become a challenge within the collector's community to accumulate them. Whereas streaming is pretty empty as you're only listening casually. Vinyl holds more value than streaming for both the listener and the artist. Streaming is a more casual way of listening to music, but for those who are music lovers and appreciate the production of music and the art form of music, they should. They normally buy vinyl. They normally buy vinyl. From the moment you put the needle on the groove, you become hooked and immersed in the nostalgia of the records, whereas streaming doesn't really give you that pleasure. The love of records benefits the artists and the listeners. So if you haven't had the pleasure of listening to vinyl records, make sure to pick one up, and it won't disappoint. Boom. Respect. Respect. West Side.